Here we are at part 14.1 of my video walkthrough for The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. And we are in the Face Shrine. This is a pretty crazy dungeon. The, the music's really weird. It makes you loop around all funny, got all kinds of weird puzzles. I, I just, I was never really very good at this one, but I thought I did a pretty good job when I was recording, so. Get to see my path through this crazy place. Now, unfortunately, I'm able to, like, see where stuff is in these dark rooms without actually lighting the torches. Because it's kind of an advantage of me. Big funky things. They make me spaz out, man. Yes, Wizrobes, you gotta kill them with bombs. They're kind of funky. You wanna wait until they, like, completely disappear and then just set the bomb down and it should blow them up. But, uh, uh, they're just weird. But here is the dungeon treasure, right off the bat. It is Power Bracelet Level 2. Which makes us so strong we can lift a whale! Raw. Which is, I guess, why they put whale statues. Which, uh... It took me forever to realize that that was a whale statue. I didn't really know what it was. Well, it's an elephant statue, so... I guess elephants and whales weigh about the same, right? <laughs> Woohoo! 50 rupees! A hundred rupees! I'm happy! But that looks like the basis of the center areas of the dungeon here. Let's go explore outward a little bit here. <coughs> yes, you wanna... Pretty much you wanna have the switches in the most inconvenient seeming place to have them. because of the the weird way that stuff is located in this dungeon. Gotta have switches in proper places or else you'll get to a room and you won't be able to like do anything because the switch will be all messed up. That's kind of annoying. But, it'll be alright. If you kill all the wizard ropes in this room, there's a chest with the map! Yay! Now we can see where we're going. Which, uh, if you notice, this shrine looks like a giant face. Which I guess is hence the reason why it is called the Face Shrine. Over here we have the Stone Beak. Alright. Gotta use a pot to open this door up. Head up here. Heading to the east. We have the compass. Alright, we're just grabbing all the dungeon treasures just right in a row here, huh? Yes, yes, uh, yes, I know. I know, I know. Alright. Hit our switch. Move on across the walkway here. Head north into this crazy room. Which there's a key in here, but we gotta blow up the uh, two wizard ropes first. Wiz robes are kind of annoying. There may be an easier way to kill them. I, I don't know. It's just the way I've always done it. Alright, now we got our small key. And with the switch the way it was, move on into this room. We can pick up a whale statue and use it to open the door to head to the north. Which leads to a chest with a hundred rupees in it. Alright! Hey, it's the river rafting game! It's the secret seashell out here. Alright, now these things you have to throw them until they both land upright. I'm not... I, I don't know how to like make them do it every time. I just keep throwing them till it happens. I'm, I don't know. This is maybe one of them puzzles I just never quite understood. 
Maybe it's based on the way you throw them, or... I don't know. Tracking we need to do. Yes, bombs bombs make excellent switch delay things. All right. I think now we're ready to head to the east side of the dungeon, whereas we've been on the west side this whole time here. It's a lot of a lot of traveling around. Ah, it's these annoying things. But fortunately, if we get in the bottom left corner here and hold our shield up, it makes us immune to these, so that they cannot hurt us. It's a lot easier than trying to dodge them, that's for sure. Wow, four wizard robes. That's a lot of them. Well, at least we can take out three in one blast. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. Uh, our infamous shirts for keys. I think that's what we're doing up here. It's a really long way just to get a key. So we're gonna have to come back this way later anyway. Item swapping room is kind of crazy at this point, but. Oh well. Alright, it's our key! This is what we're looking for. And now that we got that, we just need to work our way back to where we were. This time we're going to head to the north. Seem like there's much going on in this room. Let's bomb the wall. This leads to the mini boss, which is this weird thing that like throws this ball at us. And if we get hit by the ball, we take damage. But if we hit him with the ball, he takes damage. So it's it's a game of catch. It's it's extreme catch. Like extreme frisbee and all that. It's extreme catch! New by the inventors of Zelda! Woohoo! Passing north from that. Under here we have a staircase. 